Six zero at half. Well, that was the entire first half of the game that this video is for. Uh, this is another one of my league games. Here's the gear I wore. Not a whole lot of action in this one. So once again, I'm going to do it all in one video. Uh, this is my second game with the league. Now, like I've said before, I'm supposed to rotate, um, you know, to a different team every time. Well, I was supposed to have a bye week in week two, and uh, one of the guys couldn't make it. So I was assigned his team, which happened to be the same team I played for in the first video the week before, and we pulled out a one-to-one -one tie. So uh, yeah, this particular game, not a whole lot of action in the beginning which made me a little nervous. Um, you already saw there that I almost gave up a goal just keeping a puck in play. Should have put that puck down and then played it off with my stick or something or anything different than I did. I was a little bit nervous coming into the second half of the game, and, but it is what it is and we're heading there uh, after we talk about this gear. So uh, because I have it all sitting here, I'll just tell you a little bit about it while I'm putting it away, I guess. The pads for this one, uh, Cooper GP 3000s again. Now, the thing about this particular set of pads is that these are the 1992 variation. Um, and we know that because they're the first version and they have Cordura shins and thigh rolls. Uh, pretty good shape. Just this, another set of pads though that I really need to uh, change all the white straps out on. The strap material is very gummy uh, and flaking off. So um, I need to deal with that at some point. Yeah, I really like wearing GP3000 pads. They're, uh, they're lightweight enough and they fit well. Uh, just so you know, the GP3000 in 1992, the year it was introduced, that replaced the GP95 pad model. So that's the design evolution from the 95 right into that GP3000. Uh, next up, blocker. This is a Cooper Legends and this Trapper is a GM 3000. I uh, talk about the 3000 every time I wear them. Really love wearing the 3000. Now, I don't have a blue and white 3000 blocker. So when I pair it up with the Legend blocker, which by the way, this is the 1992 version also of the blocker. I do that because uh, nobody wore the old three pocket Legend glove. So anytime you saw anybody wearing Legends, um, you pretty much would have seen them using a Legends blocker and a 3000 catch glove, even though this is the senior pro and this is the pro. Um, they tended to get paired up together. Uh, so that's why I put these together like that. This GM 3000 catch glove isn't in the best of shape. It's really worn out inside the palm here, the, like the heel part of the palm. Um, and the backhand's a little rough too, but it's still overall a really nice glove. I like wearing GM 3000 catch gloves. Next up, pants. Just your basic uh, late 80s, mid 80s uh, Cooper player pant. Uh, this is the two-piece system with the outer part and the inner. Uh, like It's not the girdle type uh, because with the girdle type, that was, I believe, all of the padding. This has padding in the girdle or the inner portion. Uh, down here at the bottom, there's padding and stuff down in there. And then also pockets of plastic and padding in the legs. Love wearing my old Cooper flare pants. Helmet for this one, SK2000. Let me get the light. With an HM30. Uh, these are original bumpers on here, but these are not the bumpers I wore for this game. 
I actually had white bumpers on here for this game. I probably should double check that. Yeah, white bumpers for this game. And the blue and white uh, chin pad replacement style that was made by Kineski, uh, unfortunately, no longer in business. So I did wear this again uh, after this uh, for another game, and I put the blue bumpers on uh, to go with that kit. So you'll hear about this uh, bucket here again in the near future. Yeah, my jersey this time, uh, one of my homemade uh, Cooper jerseys, just an old white jersey and an old blue jersey that I cut up and sewed together to give blue gussets to. And then this is a graphic that I came up with some time back um, and did that in heat transfer vinyl along with an original uh, older style Cooper uh, logos on the shoulders. Um, number 71 on the back, that's a number I chose for myself some time back uh, for occasional jerseys. I have an actual jersey. Uh, with my name bar on it and 71. That's a whole different story for another day. I may have even shared at some point. This is one of my early homemade jerseys. And surprisingly, well, most likely I used the a cheap, basic uh, Cricut brand heat transfer vinyl. This jersey was pretty disgusting. So game day morning, I soaked it in hot water with OxyClean uh, for quite a while. Did a lot of like wringing it out, in and out, uh, flushing that out of there, the scuzz. Then I ran it through the washer, then I put it in the dryer with a dry towel. And you know what? No worse for wear on that uh, graphic, that vinyl there held up really well. So the uh, chest protector I don't have over here again, Reactor 5, I'm wearing it on a pretty regular basis. So it's actually uh, hanging over there drying. Socks, just generic blue and white uh, socks there. And then somewhere here, here we go. The stick, this is my Finnish made, so made in Finland, uh, Cooper 65. This is a Finnish model, a European model that wasn't available in the States. It was a gift to me from my buddy Bona Halakainen a um, year ago or something. Uh, straight blade also, so really love that. Well, there we go. That's the end of the uh, gear talk, and um, the rest of the gameplay is coming up here. Let's, uh, we're going to be taking it over from the second half. Like I said, the uh, the team we were playing against, I could tell was going to be hungry. I was a little rattled because, you know, you play half a game and only find, you know, five shots on you or something. And you've already made one mistake that's right at the beginning that has almost cost the goal. And uh, I've got like three more videos ready to edit. Hopefully I can get to them pretty soon. And don't forget the, uh, the new shirt here is on the merch store and I'll put a link to it up in the corner and down below. Um, and if you haven't watched any of my videos with my granddaughter, Ollie, Ollie the goalie. Uh, I'll put a link to the playlist um, right up there too and down below. You might want to catch those. It's kind of fun being a goalie grandpa with a granddaughter that's interested in vintage gear. So yeah, let's watch the rest of the video, rest of the game. It's quick. Don't worry. I, it's a quick edit. It wasn't that busy of a day. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Good job, goalie. Oh, oh. 
gloves, baby, big gloves. Good job, boys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, boys. Hey, thanks for making it easy on me. You made it easy on me, boys. Good job. Good job. Hey, man, shake it off. You did well. Good game, boys. Good game, boys. Good game. Good game, boys. Good job. Good job. Good job.